Hello, my name is Brittany and I am the Children's Services Coordinator for the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries. Today I'm going to be starting a series that we're going to do that is going to explore a lot of our online resources. And so these are different resources that you can use at home as your children are now being educated by you in the home. Um, so these are things that we hope will really be able to supplement all of the information that the schools have given you um, to use so that you can just further your, your child's education. And these are also some things that we hope will be fun um, and very engaging for your children. So we're going to start today and also be sure to um, check back each week because we'll touch on a new resource. And we will also um, be having other programs for parents. So be sure to keep an eye out for that as well. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so the first resource we're going to look at is Tumblebook for Kids. And so the way that you are going to gain access to that is to go to the library's website, which is cvlga.org, and you can see it typed in up here. And that'll bring you to our main web page. And from here, you're going to go to these links up at the top to the Kids link. And you're going to click on Tumblebook Library eBooks for Kids. And so we'll go ahead and do that. And that'll bring you to our Tumblebook library. And it's going to give you a little bit of information about Tumblebooks and how it works. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and where it says click here to visit the Tumblebook library, you're going to click there. All right, so this is Tumblebooks. And so we've got um, quite a bit of content here, so I'm going to um, point out some of the, the highlights and the, the main things that you'll want to be familiar with. Um, so this is the home page, and it gives some basic suggestions for some new books. Um, it's got some different important topics, like since today is Earth Day, it's got Earth Day. Um, it's got quick reads, graphic novels, different ebooks. Um, favorite storybooks, read-alongs. I know they've also got classics. Um, so there's all kinds of good content in here for you and your kids to use. So we'll go ahead and look. Um, up at the top here, we've got favorites where you can create uh, favorites and select your favorite books, videos, things like that. You've got a playlist where you can create a specific playlist that you and your kids can follow along with. Uh, there's some information about Common Core and the um, specific Common Core standards here and where you can find different books and lesson plans that um, fall under those standards. Um, some information about how to use Tumble Books and then um, contact information in the newsletter. All right, so from here we will go back to the home section and um, take a look at these tabs up along the top. So you've got storybooks, read-alongs, ebooks, graphic novels, nonfiction, videos, language and learning playlists, and puzzles and games. And when you click into each of these, you'll see it has a whole list of all of the items under each tab. So under storybooks, you've got new books, award winners. Um, there are several that are broken down by type or subject, so alphabet and reading, early readers, friends and family, popular authors. So you've got all sorts of things in here to help you and your kids search for um, a potential title. And up here we've got read-alongs. So these are going to be some of your early readers, chapter books, um, where kids can read along. And then ebooks. So books online, where kids can select a book and then read that. Graphic novels, there are a variety of popular graphic novels. You've got like the Geronimo Stiltons um, and some of the other popular graphic novels that kids just really enjoy. Like you got Lego Ninjago, Nancy Drew, um, so a variety of titles there as well. Then we've also got some nonfiction with Tumble Books. Uh, again, broken down by type or subject, so animals, history, geography, science. So if there's a specific um, topic you're wanting to find more information about or that your child is really interested in, then you can come in here and find a lot of titles that will fall under that topic. Um, 
And there are also videos, and these are uh, National Geographic videos about a variety of topics. So again, they're broken down by topic, um, so you can pretty easily find a specific subject that might be of interest. There are also some um, books and videos for language learning, specifically Spanish and French. And then they have some playlists, so different playlists of different titles. Um, and then puzzles and games, which we'll look at these when we go into some of the specific titles. So now we're going to go back under storybooks. All right, so now that we are looking at the storybooks, we'll select one of the titles um, and we'll go down to ABC Letters in the Library. And just to show you a couple of the different features. So on um, ABC Letters in the Library, you have the AR, reading level, the grade level. Um, so a lot of these have different um, information about the, the different reading levels. So there's sometimes AR, Lexile, um, grade level. So a lot of the different titles have, have that information if it's available. Um, and then you can also from here go and um, play the video, which I'll, I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Um, you can also add it to favorites to keep it saved for later. Add it to a playlist so that you can listen to a whole, if you had a, say a playlist about um, letters, you could, you could add this title to that playlist. Um, there are also quizzes, so we'll go ahead and click, click on that. Um, so after having listened to or read the title, a child could come and do this quiz and it's going to ask for um, specific questions about the, the book to, you know, uh, gauge comprehension and understanding of the, the title. So a lot of the titles within Tumble Books have this option. Um, and so that's something to look for as you're looking for different ways to engage your kids. Um, with reading. So we've also got under here lesson plans and so these are lesson plans that are created um, that you can do with your child so they'll have things like a time period, a specific grade level for that lesson plan, the objectives, materials needed, um, the type of assessment, and possible strategies, and then the actual um, lesson plans and assignments that you can work on with your with your children. Um, so these obviously vary depending on the age level of the title um, and they might have more than one lesson plan but this is another thing to look for as you are doing your um, child's education at home. And then finally there are also book reports. So this is um, just going to give some basic questions that your child can go through and answer um, to create a book report for the title that they just read. Um, so that is everything under here. So then when you play a video, what it's going to look like is this. of authors are arranged alphabetically. B. Beautiful books dazzle browsing bookworms. And so you can see that it'll go through the entire title and your child can just follow along and there are um, engaging pictures for them to look at um, to keep their, their interest. All right, so one other thing that I want to show you is the puzzles and games. So not all of the titles have um, an, a game associated, but some of them do. Uh, so the first type is the, the sentence game, so we'll take a look at that. And so when you go in and you choose to play the game, the child is just going to read the sentence, one night the tooth witch dropped the bag, and then select the appropriate um, image that goes along. And so that is one of the games. The other is a memory game. So if we go back to puzzles and games and select this memory game, 
And this is literally just um, a memory game. So figuring out where the, the letters are and um, matching, matching them up. So this is just another way for um, children to engage with those titles and um, learn more about them and um, continue the, the exploration of that title. So this is, this is overall um, a very general overview of Tumble Books and all that, that it offers. So I hope that this will give you a starting point to begin um, exploring this online resource and um, really beginning to use it to enhance your, your child's education. And so I hope you um, enjoyed that and will join us again um, when we explore our next online resource. We are springing into summer learning at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and the program you just attended is one of the ways you can earn completions. Just go to cvlga.org and look for Spring into Summer Learning. You can register yourself and your family online, and then start reading and attending our online events. That's all you have to do. We're giving away weekly gift certificates, and every completion you make enters you into a grand prize drawing for tablets, games, gifts, and more. Remember, you have to register to win, cvlga.org, and we'll see you online again real soon.